Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and I hope you guys liked the last Hunger Games look for District 12. Today I'm going to be doing District 11, and I don't know why I'm holding up two fingers. Oh, well, 11, kind of. Anyways, um, this is inspired by their agriculture because, you know, it's agriculture for District 11, so I'm keeping it very natural on top and then having a green pretty bottom to kind of go with their nature and very neutral rest of the face and so if you don't know if you haven't seen the movie or if you haven't seen uh, if you haven't read the book I'm gonna be actually starting the Hunger Games very very soon so I can't wait to read it and also um, if you haven't if you don't know then um, this is the tributes from um, District 11 has Rue and Thresh so yeah so this is um, basically the look. I hope you guys like it, and bye-bye. To start off this look, I'm going to be applying a base, and I'm actually just going to be using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. It looks like this. Mine's kind of dried up. Not really that much, but, you know, not as creamy as my other one. And I'm just going to put this on my entire lid. And just blend it in. Now what I'm going to do, using my 8 8 Ultra Shimmer Palette, as well, oh sorry, it's really dirty, as well as the MAC shadows. The first MAC shadow that I'm going to be using is Rice Paper by MAC. That's what it looks like. It's very neutral. Um, very gorgeous color. And I'm using this with a flat eyeshadow brush that looks like this. Just get that color on the brush, and I'm just going to put this on the entire lid up to the crease. Now I'm taking All That Glitters by MAC, and I'm going to be putting this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to put this on the outer half of my eye. I know I said outer corner, but I mean outer half. Now I'm going to be taking a brown from here. Taking this brown at the bottom right here. It's a very gorgeous brown. I'm going to be using the same brush to make it easier. And I'm going to apply this to the very outer corner. I'm just going to take a fluffy crease brush that looks like this and take the same color and I'm going to be mixing it with this very nice taupey kind of gold color and I'm going to apply this into my crease and just to put a little bit more in the outer corner. This is just going to define our crease and make it more visible and also give some more dimension to the look since it is very neutral. And now I'm just going to wipe off the brush so there's no more color because it will be much darker if I keep putting on the color. And I'm just going to use the same brush to blend this out. And now I'm going to take this darker brown and it's one above the black. So you could really use any of these browns right here, and that one even works because they're basically the same color. I'm just going to take that on the same brush, and I'm just going to put this a tiny bit more in the outer, outer corner, just to make it have a little bit more dimension than it already has. And blend. Now I'm going to go back to my flat eyeshadow brush that I used before and I'm just going to reapply a tiny bit more of this rice paper color just to the inner third of my eye and we're also going to be applying this to the brow bone now I'm going to take all that glitters again this is on the center of the lid just to give a little bit more shimmer and so you can see the color more we're going to be taking
this nice forest green color right here and we're going to be mixing it with this color right here so it's again that one this one mixed with that one I'm, with this i'm going to be using a a flat concealer brush kind of i use it for liner because it works really well and I'm just going to get those colors and mix them together. And I'm going to apply this to the bottom lash line. All the way to the inner corner like that. Get just a little bit upwards. And flick it. So it's gonna look like that. Very, very pretty, very earthy. Use the same um, eyeliner brush thing. I'm gonna just take the blackness. You probably know where the black is because it's the only black. And I'm just going to smudge this onto my lash line instead of using liner. Just a little bit, so it doesn't really look like much of a difference. It just makes your eyelashes look fuller than they already are. As you can tell, I'm staying pretty close to the lash line and actually kind of blending it into the lash line just so it makes it look more natural. And now I'm just going to be taking a Sephora black eyeliner. Looks like this, just a black. And I'm going to be lining my waterline with that just slightly. Okay. And now before we do this, um, I'm going to be taking this shimmer cream, shimmer cream eyeshadow. It's kind of just like a nice champagne color. And this goes a long way, so I'm just going to take about that much and separate it between my two fingers. And I'm just going to apply this on my eye, mostly in the center and inner corner. So it's just going to give some more shimmer and sparkle to the eye. Because you can see that's very pretty. And as you can tell, this look is not at all as dramatic as the other tutorial. But, you know, this is agriculture, so it is very natural. And you could always play it up if you like it more dramatic, but this is already pretty dramatic for me. Um... But I would definitely wear this on a everyday, not everyday basis, but like the natural look so I can wear it. But yeah, so I, maybe not the flips, but <laughs> yeah. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes well, for about 10 seconds. The other eye. And now I'm going to be applying my current favorite mascara, and this is L'Oreal Telescopic in Black is Black. I love this mask. Look at the wand. It's so skinny. Pretty. I like the container too. It's like a little telescope. And I'm just going to put this on my lashes to make them look very fluttery and gorgeous. And I'm not going to, um, because this is a kind of, not thick, but like, it is in a way thick because it kind of makes my eyelashes look a little bit thicker than they are. So I'm just going to apply one even coat. Keep it natural. that and apply some to the lowers sorry I make a weird face when I put on mascara and and so that's the final eye look Very natural, and you could wear it on an everyday basis if you want. I'm just going to take a very nice color blush. It looks like this. I've worn it in videos before. And I'm just going to take a small blush brush like this, just so I could get this very nicely on the apples. Look like you're blushing. Blush goes really, really well with this look. For lips, I already have on some baby lips just to keep it natural. I'm just going to apply a little bit more. And my sister's home. Um, 
Okay, and now I'm just going to apply a um, gold gloss. And this is by Love and Beauty from Forever 21. It's just called Gold. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lips. I'm just applying it to the center just to make my lips look a bit fuller. And that is the final look. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and keep an eye out for next Sunday when I make District 10. And yeah, so I'll see you yeah in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.